foundation of Anadolu University goes back to 1958, at which time uh, Eskişehir uh, Academy uh, Economics and Commercial Sciences was established. The university has 16 faculty, 9 graduate school, 5 high school, 3 vocational school and 25 research centre. The Faculty of Engineering has uh, more than 2,500 uh, undergraduate students, 300 graduate students and 3,000 alumni. Uh, there are many uh, reasons to choose Anadolu Engineering. For example, lifelong learning approach, continuous improvement approach, accredited programs, powerful academic list, advanced infrastructure and lab facilities, and good cooperation with the other universities and the industry. SEM Ceramic Research Center is a joint university industry research center providing services in the R&D activities, training and the technological services to those ceramic producers acting in Turkey. What SEM offers for the students, first of all, we run seminars, training courses for the people in the industry, but there are also spaces for the students. They can come and follow those courses for free. Secondly, we provide internships in the companies for the students. And for the graduates, uh, since we know the companies very well, uh, we also provide them uh, the job opportunities. And we believe that I think we are a very strong bridge between the universities and the ceramic industry. What we would like to do at Anadolu University is that to, to bring the, the, the different knowledges uh, available in the university and industry together. And to be able to do this, uh, we basically uh, formed uh, two mechanisms, and one of them is basically the, called the Research and Development and Innovation Coordination Center, where we basically try to supply the, all the needs uh, of the, the industry uh, from uh, the university. Anadolu University um, established a company in Eskişehir Technological Development uh, region, which is a kind of a techno park. And this company basically functions as a combining the activities between the university and industry. So therefore, that the, these two vehicles we have uh, uh, work together to basically uh, have a strong university-industry partnership. Anadolu University provides and supports young scientists like me academically in order to pursue our academic research. My research interests include development and applications of photonic devices. One of the recent projects that I'm working on, I can state uh, development of on-chip integrated optical amplifiers and lasers. We are aiming at developing the material with a new technique such that its active properties will be the most competitive in the world, hopefully. And we believe that our research team and facilities will be sufficient for that. Our project is Solar Car Project and started in 2006 with a key point of renewable and clean energy. The main idea of the, our project is to use uh, solar power with the most efficient way. Our project uh, is a hydrogen powered car project. We are working on this project since uh, 2007. In this project, just students work uh, and uh, we are attending two different uh, races uh, in each year. Day by day, uh, the petroleum fuels uh, harms uh, the nature. Uh, we have to change this obligation and hydrogen is a really great uh, way to uh, change our uh, cars. My research is about open channel flow uh, and sediment transport. This project is about uh, designing and building uh, wind turbine technology uh, or a smaller system inside uh, an air duct uh, in a moderate size industrial facility. Uh, I think this is the best place for me uh, and for uh, my colleagues uh, to keep uh, doing their research because when you do something good with your research you can feel immediately uh, the encouragement and support in the air which makes you feel like you are a member uh, of uh, a family of aggressive and productive researchers. So it's a really good environment to do uh, good quality work. 
We would like to make a, a life pattern of continuous improvement, proactive approach and create difference in education, research and service to society. And of course, we wish to educate global engineers.